This is what he wrote as a suicide note. He said, I refuse to spend even an hour more in jail for something I had nothing to do with. Enough is enough. If it takes my head to end this, so be it. I want it to be known that Michelle Traconis had nothing to do with Jennifer's disappearance, and neither did Kent Mawinney. Kent Mawinney was Fotis's lawyer and his friend, and also ended up charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Those kids were between the ages of 8 and 13 years old. No mom, now no dad. And grandma picked them up. And she took them to New York and she put them under armed guard to protect them when Fotis was alive. She's been very, very quiet. She has not done interviews. She's trying to raise those five children best she can, given the circumstances. Michelle Traconis and Kent Mawinney still have a trial. Four years after all of this happened. Four years. Conspiracy to commit murder, tampering with or fabricating physical evidence and hindering the prosecution. So this would be a really good point to bring in John Schoenhorn. He is the attorney for Michelle Traconis. John, thank you so much for being here tonight. I really appreciate this. It's a very sad anniversary. I think we can all agree, no matter what side of this legal battle we're all on, right? I can certainly agree with that. So let's start with your client. Four years since the disappearance um, of Jennifer Dulos, and it, it, it's odd that there has been no trial. What is the holdup? What, what's happening that has kept uh, both Kent and your client, Michelle, from going to trial? Well, there hasn't been just one thing that's caused the holdup. Um, one might blame part of the time frame for uh, the delay on the COVID pandemic. There were no trials for more than a year. Uh, so everything sort of went dormant, if you will, in every case, including those individuals who are incarcerated, who, of course, would have a greater right to be tried than those who are free on bond or free on conditions. After that, I have to say, and uh, I've said this in pleadings and I've said it in court, the delay is mostly on the part of the prosecution. Delay in disclosing evidence, uh, delay in uh, bringing the case forward, and over the last uh, six, seven months, a delay caused by a what I believe is a frivolous motion to disqualify me from the case so they could call me as a witness against my client. That's not going to happen. And I think that's going to be withdrawn soon. It's going to be decided maybe as early as this Friday. But that's okay, some so of the reason for a lot the of legal weeds, you know, weeds, so to speak. And then obviously a pandemic. Even so, it still feels like an, an eternity for a conspiracy case. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.